This week I'm exploring a new area of the Lake District, somewhere I haven't been before, but I am climbing a mountain that I've submitted previously, just this time we're climbing it from the other side, so familiar mountain, but a new route up. A couple of other firsts for this video. This is the first video this year where I've gotten completely soaking wet. In fact, I've been very lucky with the rain this year. In the last 12 hikes, I've had little or no rain. That changes in this video. Also, two fighter jets flew over the top of me and they were so loud. They sounded so powerful. And you may think it odd that I am talking about how they sounded. That was because I was stuck in the cloud layer at the time, so I didn't see a thing. Regardless of being soaking wet and having barely any visibility at the top, this is a great route, as you will see. So a viewer asked me to include more live audio in these vlogs, and I think that's a good idea. But one of the things with hiking like this is the fact that I always feel really good after the hikes. I, I love my hikes, that's why I do so many of them. But when I get started, like the first kilometer, I'm just really tired. It's about 6.40 a.m. right now, and I've had about four hours sleep. So I just feel really, really tired. This place is beautiful, and we're going to climb what I think is my favourite mountain in England today. We're going to climb Helvellyn. We're doing it from a route I've not done before, and we're going through the forest first. I just want to give you an idea of how scenic it is here. So we're walking through the forest, and to my right is Helvellyn, but to my left is the lake. So it's a pretty awesome location. It's very quiet here this morning too, as you'd expect. Very, very scenic. I guess if you were wondering why this is one of my favourite places, that's a pretty good answer. We're climbing the third highest mountain in England today, and this is my third ascent of the year. I've previously climbed Helvellyn via Striding Edge, which is a fantastic scramble, and I've done that route twice this year. So today we're doing something a little different. I'm actually looking to tick off all of the lower mountain tops on the Helvellyn range. So whilst I've been to the summit, I've not done the lower tops of Lower Man, Nethermost Pike, High Crag, and Dolly Wagon Pike. This hike is about 15 kilometers, and we'll have a total ascent of just over a thousand meters. So to get started, I've parked at Withburn Church for this hike, but there's a car park at either end of Withburn Wood, so if you're not up as early as I am and that car park is full, you've got options. It just determines whether you start or end the hike by going through the woods. Very often my videos feel like just steps, endless, endless steps, or maybe you can see my legs moving one after the other to climb. What you don't see on the video is what I see of the views, and I think it's really disappointing. So I'm going to share that with you this time. This is what I'm, what I'm seeing out here. Crazy, crazy views today. Not too long ago I showed you the view that I had of the lake. And as we move further up the mountain, the rain has come in and the view is gone. Still pretty good, but the weather's getting worse as we get closer to the top. Not so long ago, I was walking through a lovely forest, and as if anything, I was a little bit warm. Right now I'm pretty damn cold. That's the first time a jet's gone over. Whilst I've been here, I know it happens in the Lake District, but it's the first time it's happened when I've been here. So the GPS says we're on Lower Man. So, first summit of the day is done. Nice climb. It's pretty easy from here, just over to Helvellyn. Uh, welcome to Lower Man and its clouds. I think this is actually the coldest I've been on a hike this year. It's just that wind, the wind chill is crazy. It's got to be, it feels like temperature in the low single digits, maybe three or four Celsius. 
I don't know, but it's cold. Carrying more layers if I need them, but it's very cold. Oh man, tiny sheep. You guys are very cute. So the sheep that I'm passing are on the very top. We're still up near the summit, still at maybe 930 meters. But there's little sheep up here. So that's Striding Edge. That's like one of my favorite ridge routes. Maybe Striding Edge or maybe Crib Gok on uh, Snowdon. But it's an absolutely fantastic ridge. And you can just make out the, the people doing the Knife Edge Ridge Route. This is great weather for doing Striding Edge. I should have gone that way. Very, very cool. So let's quickly recap. We started this hike in the woods with clear views over the lake. Those views quickly disappeared as we entered the cloud layer, and now we're in dense clouds as we move between Helvellyn and the tops of Nethermost Pike and then onto Dolly Wagon Pike. And this reminds me of something that often happens when I tell people about my hikes and getting into bad weather. People often react with, oh that's a shame, like the bad weather has entirely spoiled the trip and I shouldn't have even bothered going out because there's no view from the summit. I'm curious, do you think a hike is entirely spoiled if you spent the summit in the cloud layer? Personally, if we're discounting the cold and the wet and we're just thinking about visibility, it doesn't bother me one bit. I'm having a great time out here. This hike was actually a little unusual, as you might have noticed that between these clips the visibility is changing quite a lot. Uh, I think it's because of the high winds, it's moving the clouds along quite quickly, so one minute visibility was down to 20 meters, and then the next it was up to 100 meters. You'll also see in a couple of these clips me pulling out my GPS. That wasn't because of the visibility. I wasn't relying on GPS in this hike for navigation. The truth is this ridge runs from uh, Helvellyn due south to Dolly Wagon Pike, so navigation even in poor visibility isn't too difficult. And you could easily get along with just a compass. But I do like to keep an eye on the elevation though. Sometimes if I'm feeling tired on an ascent, it really helps me to keep motivated as I watch the elevation number tick upwards on the GPS. That said, we're on the descent now, we've passed Dolly Wagon Pike, and we're about to pass a couple of grumpy hikers, but it's all downhill from here for us. Hey. Hey. Thank you. I'm feeling re-energized now, after that descent. That descent was, it was pretty steep, I think it's fair to say. Um, Pretty steep descent, but now that I'm on the flat for a while, I'm feeling re-energized, and I think really I'm just glad that this hike doesn't have a long tail descent. The last couple that I've done, I've had maybe six kilometers once I reach uh, down to the level that the car is on before I finish the hike, whereas today it's maybe one or two, so that's much nicer as soon as I get down off the height. <sighs> This is it now, last few kilometers. There's pretty much just follow this track until you get down to the road and then just nip into the forest and that's where the car is. So really simple to navigate now, but in fairness, now that the cloud's gone, navigation won't be too much of a problem anyway. I'm hoping for a fairly gentle descent. Feeling it in my, uh, feeling it in my feet now. I did somehow manage to lose a glove during this hike as well. I stuffed them into my pockets and thought at the time that I'll have to get a small carabiner to hold them in the future so that I don't drop one. And then, without noticing, immediately dropped one. So I guess that justifies me always carrying a spare pair. And yeah, smarter ways to carry and organize your kit are always worth it. I also passed an inner sole on the ground. No idea how you lose one of those, but if you needed a sign to go through and organize your hiking backpack to make sure everything is safe and secure, then this is it. The route back to the car was nice and easy, but there was a small water crossing, so be prepared for that. It wasn't very difficult, even in the fairly wet weather, but it was a little slippery. We just need to walk back through the woods, and then we're at the car park. I was the second car to arrive this morning, and as always, it was overflowing by the time I got back. But like I said, there's another car park at the other end of the wood, if this one's full. I didn't record me dramatically throwing my backpack into the boot of my car like I usually do for the end of these videos, but you might just catch my reflection in the car window looking pretty drenched.
another hike successfully completed, and a few more mountaintops ticked off the list, and it's home time for us.